There is no doubt that our interest in robot partners may border on the monomaniacal. Monomaniacal? What is that, you might wonder? Well, for the layman like me, let me explain a little bit. When you are excessively preoccupied with or obsessed by a single idea, subject, or thing, often to an abnormal degree it is known as monomaniacal. Here the object is of course your robot partners. Who is the real victim when the illusion is perfect? It is a kind of feeling that describes someone who has a relentless, extreme focus on one specific interest, to the point of it being considered abnormal or pathological. Addiction? Yes, to some degree. Now think about a situation. Have you ever looked at your Roomba and felt a strange pang of affection as it dutifully devoured dust bunnies? What if that Roomba had a face, could recall your favorite movie, and mixed a perfect martini after a long day? Suddenly, we're not just talking about a vacuum cleaner, we're talking about a roommate, maybe even a friend. As an intelligent and curious person, you must have got the idea. If you take away the user... What's left of the experience? This escalating fascination with robotic partners is tiptoeing dangerously close to a collective monomania, a single-minded obsession that might just be rewiring our brains for the worse. Are we outsourcing our emotional labor to machines that can only ever simulate, never truly feel? Consider the human mind. <laughs> Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. We are social creatures by design, honed by millennia of evolution to read subtle cues in a human face, to find solace in a shared glance, and to navigate the beautifully chaotic dance of human relationships. Now, introduce a partner who never argues, never has a bad day, and exists solely to cater to your whims. Sounds like paradise, doesn't it? Or is it more like a gilded cage for the soul? A place where our empathy muscles atrophy from disuse? A relationship with a perfectly agreeable android could become an emotional echo chamber. A place where we only hear our own thoughts mirrored back at us in a soothing, synthesized voice. This isn't some distant sci-fi fantasy anymore. Look at the strides being made in generative AI. Models like Google's Gemini or OpenAI's GPT series are becoming masters of conversation, capable of generating text and speech that is almost indistinguishable from a human's. They are learning context, remembering past interactions, and even developing what we might perceive as a personality. Engineers are working tirelessly on what's called effective computing, or emotional AI. Imagine a humanoid robot, perhaps one with the agility of Boston Dynamics Atlas, equipped with sensors that can read your biometrics, your heart rate, your skin's galvanic response, the subtle shifts in your tone of voice. This machine could know you're stressed before you do, offering a comforting word or a cup of tea not because it cares, but because its algorithm has calculated a high probability of that action being beneficial. The inevitable invention on the horizon is the seamless integration of these technologies. A physically capable, conversationally brilliant, and emotionally perceptive android. The argument for such companionship is undeniably compelling. Think of the crushing epidemic of loneliness sweeping across developed nations. For an elderly person living in isolation or someone struggling with social anxiety, a robot companion could be a lifeline, offering consistent, judgment-free interaction. Researches have shown that even simple robotic pets can decrease stress and increase feelings of well-being in nursing homes. Wouldn't a sophisticated humanoid partner be an exponential leap forward in palliative care and mental health support? They could be the ever-patient friend, the tireless caregiver, the perfect Socratic partner to debate philosophy with at 3 a.m. And yet, 
a shadow looms behind this utopian vision. What happens when the simulation becomes more appealing than the real thing? Why bother with the messy, unpredictable, and often painful reality of human relationships when you can have a flawless, programmable alternative? We risk creating a generation that prefers the curated comfort of a machine to the authentic, challenging, and ultimately more rewarding connection with another human being. The technology itself presents a paradox, famously known as the uncanny valley. The idea that as robots become more human-like, they reach a point where they seem just slightly off, triggering a sense of unease or even revulsion. Will we ever truly bridge that gap? Or are we destined to create companions that are perpetually unsettling? Furthermore, as these AIs become more complex, pulling data from our every interaction, what happens to privacy, to consent, to the very definition of a private thought? Our relationship with technology is already a whirlwind romance, full of exhilarating highs and disorienting lows. We've welcomed Alexa and Siri into our homes, treating them as part of the family, yet they are fundamentally tools designed by corporations. As we stand on the precipice of creating true artificial companions, we must ask ourselves the hard questions. Are we building a solution to loneliness, or are we just creating a more sophisticated distraction from it? Are we inventing a new form of love, or just a perfect, sterile reflection of our own ego? The android is coming for our couch, and it might just know us better than we know ourselves. Whether that's a dream or a nightmare is a story we are only just beginning to write. So that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for membership zone to support Wooden Slet so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.